Good morning, folks. Wake up. Smell the coffee, as they say. So, which one is your favorite? Now, obviously, this is this probably extracts the most out of uh, the ground coffee beans, and the coffee beans are ground uh, fresh. So, this probably gives the best zing, but it's clunky. It's expensive. Not everybody will have it, but uh, this is the best. However, the world's population, probably the most coffee drinkers are probably going to use the poorest coffee, I mean the quality wise, you know. And if you want to simulate this machine, the closest that will go is probably this, according to me. I may be wrong. So, not freshly ground, but airtight container. And the thing with freshly ground coffee is that you're limited. Whereas if you go for, if, if you're really coffee aficionado and if you really love to enjoy coffees from all over the world, then you don't have choice but to uh, buy ground coffee and then um, you can have your own, you can, I mean, in future uh, I plan to do experiments with real coffee beans and mix and match and make my own personal blend, which is the best, you know, the flavor, the zing, and the color and the smell of oh, flavory smell, isn't it? You know, I mean, the maximum amount of, how can I say, the thing. The thing is the thing, yeah. So this is my thing, stovetop, Italian style. Cafetiere, a lot of consultants, uh, stuff I have seen using in the hospital, which is okay, uh, but not like this. But then again, you need a naked flame or heat uh, to do this. You just need a kettle. You know, just pour hot water or ground coffee. Now, this weekend I went to London and Impulse Buy, Aeropress, never heard of it. Look at this thingy. Now, my nephew just told me he has been using it for a while and he loves it. However, I'm finding it very difficult to figure out how to pull this thing out as a telescope. Anyway, I'm going to go to YouTube and watch a couple of videos, but this is not very idiot proof because I can't find out how to pull this out you know I've been trying for the last five minutes I think I'm doing something wrong I tried to push it from inside it is not working anyway do you know what is the Indian version of this so simple South Indian Kerala coffee Malabar coffee see simple aeropress how clever is that and how cheap is that so your coffee comes here, you put your, come on, behave, like this, and then you put coffee there, I guess, then drop hot water, I guess, and then you press, see, and then open and drink. So compared to this 92 pound worth of this, this is probably 50 pence, or maybe one pound. Do you see what I mean? This is what we Indians do. We make very complicated thing and make it very simple. Now, you may argue that it looks nice, and yes, but clunky. And it is not idiot proof. And this is even the stupidest IQ people can figure out how to work this out. And it is way lighter, less stuff. Uh, I'm pretty sure the extraction will be probably better because it's looks and feels very tight in terms of air and pressure and all that and it also got some filters it doesn't so i guess some of the ground coffee might go through this into this and you'll fill it in your mouth which is not good really so this is it so these are all the stuff but the other thing that people uh, use is this thing i probably use this most after the stove top so my first one is stove top but my second one is this. Now, why should we all drink coffee? What is the benefit of coffee? Now, British Liver Trust, if you go to their website, they are recommending two cups of coffee for improvement of liver health, also brain health. Caffeine, coffee has got caffeine. It's a molecule. It looks very similar in three dimension to a fatigue molecule called adenosine. So as brain breaks glucose and other energy stuff uh, metabolize it to produce ATP because um, brain is a very energy hungry organ 
and a brain is only 2% of your body weight but it uses 20% of the oxygen in demand. So it's like a supercomputer always working. So brain as it always works makes up a molecule called adenosine as ATP, adenosine triphosphate is broken down to diphosphate or ADP to adenosine. The buildup of adenosine is a signal that you have used up too many ATPs today. It's like you have been on five hours on WhatsApp or Facebook. So brain is giving a signal, look, too much adenosine, you, you need to shut down, you need to go for a walk or something like that. Do some white white activity, you know, the um, white noise, like white space, like nothing. Just, you, just you, you let your mind wander, just take a walk in the uh, outdoor rather than watching a um, crime thriller or reading or uh, Facebook and, you know, complicated project work and stuff. So basically adenosine is your signal to tell your brain to slow down, shut down. Caffeine blocks that molecule's receptor of adenosine. So that although adenosine is building up, caffeine will block the receptors and brain can carry on a bit longer. So it delays fatigue. And that's the reason you should not be drinking too many cups of caffeine. I never, uh, two is my average, three some days, I will do three, four exceptional, very exceptional, four cups. And whatever you do, don't drink coffee towards the latter part of the evening. So not beyond 4 p.m. because it messes up with your sleep cycle. So some even find it difficult if they drink coffee after 1 p.m., 2 p.m. For me, I figured out that I can go up to 3, 4 p.m. Beyond that, I should not be drinking coffee. Now, if coffee is artificially give, giving us a boost in productivity in terms of delaying fatigue, is it good for health? One, caffeine, I haven't looked at the literature, but a lot of people I respect, they have mentioned that caffeine actually is brain protective as well. Now, obviously, the logic I have just given you seems to be counter um, uh, to this logic, but let's find out a bit more. But yes, it is true that uh, caffeine in the short term will give you focus and it makes you more alert and aware. But then again, the argument against there are many other things you can do to improve your focus. Then also, I think the bit of the warm stuff that you're drinking is also waking you up a bit so can we replace it with just hot water or a hot lemon water the reason british liver trust probably i think ask for liver health fatty liver to drink coffee two cups is coffee has been shown to increase brown fat percentage so white fat is the most dangerous fat no mitochondria and brown fat is a good fat which has got lots of mitochondria which actually makes the fat brown because it can easily burn calories. Uh, so you see people who uh, are um, eating a lot and lot and they are not getting fatter. Uh, and they probably have got a higher brown fat percentage so their body can uh, burn calories faster and more efficiently. When the infants are born, their body is almost full brown fat. And that's why if an infant accidentally drops on a cold water situation or cold environment, they don't shiver because um, that's body's protection. So infant, um, mammalian infants, particularly human, their brain, when they're delivered, when they're uh, coming out from mother's room, their brain is half-backed. So the rest of the baking, when I say baking, I mean processing, happens after birth. So the first two years is very vulnerable, that kid, compared to a, a cow's uh, baby. They come out of the uh, mother's womb and immediately after a few kind of dizzy steps, they will start walking. Whereas a human baby will take months before um, uh, he or she can walk. So the reason for that is human brain is huge compared to body. And that huge brain cannot go through the pelvis, the, the hip bones of the mother. So uh, the nature um, uh, made the head, we call fontanel, so head can squeeze a little bit. The bones will overlap each other, like telescope each other as the baby is coming through the birth passage. And then brain will go up like this. So then after, after birth, brain will grow benefit of all those extra fat because mother's milk 
even if it's good amount is not good enough for that infant's brain development so all those extra fat actually is needed because the brain during the first one year is tremendous activity so if something happens to the brain development in that stage it, it is very detrimental to to uh, that um, uh, infant's uh, future development so uh, so i digress to brown fat and infant brain development as you can see i do digress come back so brown fat coffee helps white fat to brown fat now there is a tendency whenever you hear something is oh if coffee does that let's drink like 100 cups of coffee and transform all my white fat to brown fat it doesn't work like that okay so stick to the advice two cups maybe three in exceptional situation i do four yeah three i think should be the cutoff too many caffeines other than sleep disturbance can also cause other stuff like heart irregularities, arrhythmias, high blood pressure. So all the arousal stuff that coffee does. So coffee has got two effects. One is this delaying fatigue effect and one is this arousal effect. So when you wake up, your first arousal is your um, uh, adrenaline um, axis. So basically a cortisol and adrenaline uh, immediately secreted as, as soon as you become vertical from horizontal, from sleep to standing, immediately your cortisol level goes up. Uh, and that is needed so do not drink coffee within the first hour of waking up wait for one hour and then drink the coffee just get that take the advantage of the natural arousal system okay so that's it and when someone roast coffee the smell and apparently there are more than thousand chemical reactions happening when you roast coffee freshly i don't know how they calculated thousand reactions but uh, there are a lot of people who spend their whole life researching and developing coffees um, richly paid some business people entrepreneur you probably have heart bulletproof coffee basically uh, this is coffee with fat which is a very ancient tibetan nepalese concept the hard-working sherpas they always drink coffee with fat a lump of butter to give them energy and interesting this lump of butter although it gives energy it does not cause the high insulin level which is the main source of all the metabolic health problem that we see insulin resistance causes type 2 diabetes it causes atherosclerosis it causes inflammatory state in the body so try to keep your insulin level down by not giving sugar or carb early in the day and keep your fasting prolonged now when it's a fasting you mean no calorie but if you do a insulin fast, that means no insulin spike. Yeah, that's probably more um, acceptable and doable for majority because some of my patients actually, if they fast fast, they feel dizzy. They are so un, uh, deconditioned. They, are, they don't have the metabolic resilience because if your metabolism is keto adapted or, or fat adapted, you can do either or you can switch back and forth. But anyway, more and more evidence is coming that that the carbohydrate is causing all this inflammation including atherosclerosis and that's another talk have a lovely day um coffee is something that i can talk about like a whole day and this is our coffee my coffee so coffee i named him even before i knew his existence i told whoever comes to my house will be called coffee coffee Stretchy time? Yes, I know. You had a good night's sleep, Baba? No, not yet. Okay, you go to sleep. Interestingly, his birthday and my birthday on the same date, 19th of October. He's going to be two years this October. I think he's looking for company. All right, Baba? Anyway, coffee is so energetic, literally. Spending a little bit of time with him, you'll be so charged. Not only excitement, he will give you a lot of oxytocin, like hugging hormone. Coming back to my kitchen, so have a lovely, lovely day. I'm heading off to hospital. I've done a 5K. I'm planning to do another 5K slow run today. Can you hear a bird chirping? I call this sound of morning. That's the steam of morning.
right? Elixir of life. Perfect. So this is my first cup of coffee. You're going to hear. Ah. So this is the other one. 50% uh, of the time I will drink coffee from this kind of uh, pot machines. I've got one in my hospital office and one at home. Easy to maintain. You just top off water on the back and put a pot which is already done. Put your cup underneath. That's my favorite um, coffee mug when I drink coffee. As it is heating up, um, I normally tend to do some push-ups. It's called table push-up. So you basically put to your hands here and put your feet uh, further down here. The further you go back, the more stressful the process will be and more chance of you falling. So uh, be a bit careful, but at least do a little bit of push-up like this one too. And then I do this pop means there is a pot sometimes i forget and there is no pop water comes out hot water anyway so as it is pouring i will hold it uh, and then do some squat you know like a very simple is mobility squats rather than anything it will not develop your big glutes and stuff uh, or, or quadriceps but uh, this is something it is a daily practice as the coffee is happening i'm doing 15 squats and 15 push-ups is a slanting push-up yeah it's not as difficult as a proper horizontal push-up but at least you will get it done so anyway this is coffee yeah so i think that's enough you get the message right let me put this back it was just for the demo and always clean your machine don't expect somebody else to clean it and do not leave it in the sink, okay? Properly dispose this. And if you're thinking you're going to put it in the vegetable bin, that's a no-no. Let's put this here and upside down. So this is my second cup of coffee. I normally, if in a work day, I normally put it in my portable coffee mug and take it out. Finally, the one I use in office you take a pod always milk first if you are using milk and put it there and milk will come then you take a latte because that's what i'm having as you can hear the pressure is building up hot frothy milk is coming That's the end of the milk. Don't touch it when it is doing that. Then gently open it, remove it, and put your coffee one. Same. And now see the beautiful color change. Beautiful, isn't it? Work of art. That red light means the filter needs to be cleaned or changed. That's it. And if you want some professional style froth you can use a cheap nine pound milk frother and the coffee tea you can make froth by agitating the liquid <laughs>